welcome to its topic in today's video we will revise the chapter 6 of class 9 computer science the chapter name is introduction to database part 1 here we will learn about database the basic concept about a database first we have to know what is a database it, database is a systematic collection of structured information of data or data typically stored electronically in a computer system for example you will see voter list uh, the list of people in nrc and when you are checking your results online these are some example of electronic database even in your mobile you have a contact list or contact option there you will see your friends name and phone number this is also a database so these are examples and online telephone directory which i already told you your phone book is also an example of database there you will get name phone number and email id etc of your contacts there are different type of data they are here rkl relational object oriented and relational uh, here relational is the most popular database that is widely used We use some software to create or manage the databases. These are known as DBMS or Database Management System. Some examples are these are MySQL, SQL, Access. They are also called as RDBMS, Relational Database. So don't be confused with this. These two are uh, using same application to do that. Why we need a database? We can What we can do? We can store data electronically in a computer instead of papers. When we store the information in a paper, in a piece of paper, uh, there is high risk of damage, damaging of the paper. The paper can be damaged, still, or anything can be happened. But if we store that particular data in a computer, and we keep multiple backup of that particular data, then even if the computer damages, we can get back the data from the backup copy. We can easily add, delete, manage of the information which we cannot do in paper database in a electronic database we can easily add new record delete the older one or even we can update the information we can manipulate the information easily manipulate means suppose i have a school database from here i want to know how many students are boy and how many are girl and how many are from which caste so easily i can make just a query and i will know the data or the values but if we store the particular information in papers, in forms, then what will happen? I have to go through each paper or form individually and it will take time. But in a database, just we'll write a query and we can solve that problem just in few seconds. Easily can search particular piece of information. And we can also set different type of security for different user. Normally in a company, you will see there are different job roles like manager, uh, clerk then then LD and all and even some just uh, intern who are just joined the company so for different per uh, people there will be some different rules suppose the manager can access the whole database and some clerk can access the account tables and uh, who are joining they can only view the data and like that we can set it even we can set a uh, password who will know the password only they can access the database and remaining will not able to see for example as we see our bank database we can only see the information we cannot modify it only bank people can modify the information we can easily share our database in a paper database which is not so easy we have to do xerox the copy and we have to share it we have to share it by post or we have to give it uh, physically to other people but in a database by using bluetooth wi-fi email or any other means we can easily share the data with another components content of a database these are the content of a database first table they are the building blocks and tables are actually a form of rows and columns which can be used to store information and if you create a database your database must have at least one or more table field each column of a database is known as field and 
they are also called as attribute of a table record a complete set of row means a complete line is called as record and they are also new, known as tuple uniqueness of record now when we create a database when we store the database or information in a paper what happens sometime by mistakenly or in unconscious mind we may repeat the same information twice we may write same student information or employees information twice but in a database we have this options we can make uh, its record unique like uh, and again another example for a paper database the searching is not that easy but in computer database to sir make the searching easier we can give all the record a unique number like employee id for student admission number and all so that easily we can find that particular information from the database that's why the unique of uniqueness of database uh, record is very much necessary in a relational database with that which the searching will be much not so easier and there are different type of keys in a database they are first primary key this is the unique field of a table which is the most unique field of a table we set them as a primary key and on primary key field we cannot insert duplicate values the values of a primary key should be always unique super key a set of field that can uniquely identify a record in a table for example suppose i have student table there i have two options admission number and mobile number so both will be unique each student will have different phone number and different admission number so both can be used as primary key but so they are will they, they will be known as super key super key we use to make the table more unique to make the records more unique in a table candidate key a field or group of field that can be used as super key for example this one only admission and phone number both we can use as primary key so they will known as candidate key then comes alternate key now suppose i am selecting the admission number as primary key and i have not selected the phone number as primary key so the phone number will call as alternate key and composite key when there are more than one candidate for the primary key it is known as composite key i have by mistakenly wrote it here super actually it should be composite key now one more key is there foreign key it is actually very much required for a relational database to relate one table with another one suppose i have two table for a student uh, one is just basic information and one is for academic information there i want to now in a report card i want to print the student's father name mother name and the marks whatever the student scored so i will have to access data or information from two tables at that moment the primary key is very much important to relate one record one table to another table so we can say it uh, it is used to relate a table with another one now rdbms that means relational database management system it is a software which uh, manages large database but in a relational database we create uh, multiple tables instead of one table because if we store all the complete students information just in one table it will be very much difficult to manage and sometime it will give us trouble so what we do we uh, break the data in uh, break the table in smaller smaller parts and that can be easily managed by rdbms relational database management system in rdbms we make multiple tables and make relationship among them some examples are mysql oracle access etc MS Access. MS Access is the most popular RDBMS that come as a part of MS Office. When you install MS Office in your computer, this also installed with the package and it can manage a relational database. And also it uh, whatever database we create in MS Access, it can be interpreted or integrated with other application. It can be a mobile app or it can be a website or something else. We can create two type of database in MS Access. They are uh, the uses of MS Access. What for what purpose we will use it? We can manage our accounts or bills as a tally. We can use it. You have seen maybe tally or billing software in shopping mall and all. 
it is like that one we can use it we can store data in form of multiple tables and we can access it whenever it is required it can be used to make our websites websites information we can store in access database and we can comparing the data and finding relationship between them for that also we can use it type of database in access we get two type of database flat file database here we store the information in form of text and here we store all the information just in one uh, table or just one part here we cannot break down the data in smaller tables in form of tables we cannot do it but in a relational database we store the data in form of table so here we are getting more advantages and also we can make here multiple tables and which we cannot do in flat file database there will have just one table and we store the data in form of plain text not as a form of table database objects these are the when we create a database in mx access there are several components which are very much important to work with that they are table it is used to define or store the data forms it is used for data entries to take the input from the user report it is the printed form of data queries it allows us to retrieve information from the table macro or module it allow us to write some predefined actions and that action will do some event means when we use the action or trigger the action action it will do some event it's actually like uh, like we can say as time bomb when we press the action key or the remote the time bomb blast so in macro and module also we already re pre write some programs or some steps when we trigger that option automatically do that part now how we'll create a blank database in ms access there are several ways they are creating a blank database here completely everything we have to do ourselves creating a database from template here we will get already pre-created tables there just we can uh, create according to that even there also we can modify the table the default name of msx's database is always database1.accdb at first time suppose you have already created many databases in your computer then it may be database2 database3 and so on and here accdb is the extension of database file when you create a uh, access database you will get this extension view a, of a table we are getting two type of view design view it is used to design the table it give more controls to the table data sheet view it is used to enter the information to the table table and field name in um, ms access database or any database the table names are always unique with same name we cannot create two table and inside the table the field name are also unique the name should be always unique and while we are keeping field name we should follow the following rules field name can range from 1 to 64 characters a field cannot have more than 64 characters or zero characters a field name can include letter alphabet and some special characters and generally we use underscore sign to join two words suppose roll number roll and number there is one gap between there we can use underscore to join two characters a field name cannot start with a blank space and a field name cannot have period means full stop and exclamation or brackets so these are the rules rules are very important for examination so learn it data types the form of data that we can enter inside a field is known as data type access support different type of data they are auto number auto number auto number it give us automatic numbers like one two three here we don't have to write the number ourselves the numbers comes automatically and number here we can insert numeric data text here we can enter alphanumeric information to the table memo here also we can enter alphanumeric characters but here length is more text we use normally in text we can use maximum 255 characters but memo we can add more than 65,000 characters currency all the currency information or money related information we can for writing that we can use currency option and yes and no 
when we need the answer in either yes or no that that moment we can write this like uh, for example suppose i am asking a student whether he have any physical problem yes or no i think you have got in your form fill up physical disability there are two options only yes no for that and date and time for storing date or time we can use this OLE object to link our database with another application we can use it attachment to attach files to our database and hyperlink to add email or our website links we can use it now what is queries queries allow us to retrieve information from one or more table based on some certain conditions microsoft access provide various type of queries they are select query parameter cross tab and action and sql queries just you remember the name now know it the uses component of query design window they are the component field here we'll able to see the field names table here we'll see the table names so here by here we'll get one checkbox by clicking ticking on the check checkbox we can show or hide that particular field sort to ascending uh, sort the data in ascending or descending order criteria here we can write some condition through which condition we want to display the record display the record or retrieve the record from a table so these are the some uh, important parts from the chapter from chapter 6 if you have any more confusion you can write in comment section and if you want this note as pdf you will get in my telegram channel please uh, subscribe to that the name of the channel is it's rafik you can just search it there and you will get the group link and click join uh, join there in next video we will discuss chapter 7 that is codings and its importance thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye